This is the River Hawk Report for Thursday, April 8th, 2010. Baseball and softball in action, and step right up, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody's a winner. Baseball got a big hit and some clutch relief work to grab the W. Softball featured an explosive lineup, and that is where we will start. After 24 games on the road, UMass Lowell Softball River Hawks returned to Riverview Field and beat the softball and Southern New Hampshire into submission. The River Hawks showed off their power bats and aggressive in your face, forced the defense to make the play or else base running. The River Hawks swept the doubleheader. UMass Old victorious in game one, 11 to 7, 8 to 2 in the night camp. Played a little bit of cotter ball, but uh, I don't mind the long ball either. And, and, and we're, we're starting to get to the point where we're hitting up and down the lineup. Certainly had a, a balanced attack. Um, there's just nobody easy to pitch to, and uh, you know that, that makes it tough to beat us. That's head coach Sean Cotter. The first game was a big bat frenzy. The two teams combined for eight home runs. Three by the River Hawks, two by pitcher Elisa Bryan. Her second bomb came in a six-run fourth inning and put the exclamation point on the game. Pretty much been on like a hot streak the past couple games and I've kept like the same mentality. I'm not really superstitious, but I keep the same like mentality every at bat. I've been seeing the ball really well lately. I try and get the pitch that's in my zone and then if I don't get a pitch that's in my zone and I have two strikes on me, I'll foul off until I get my pitch. In addition to Brian, Alyssa Boris homered in game one. She also went deep in game two and the coach says the combination of Brian and Boris has solidified the middle of the lineup. Both of them is really swinging the bat. One's AB and one's EB. Um, and uh, we were struggling early in the year. We, we didn't have a cleanup batter. And I, I kept saying, really, from the fall up until about maybe a week and a half ago, you know, we're just short of middle of the order hitter. And um, when Kalen Ford got hurt against uh, CW Post, we just kind of put A there by necessity and then kept her there because we just didn't have anybody else to put there. And she's really taken to that spot in the lineup. And um, now I'm not saying we need a middle of the order hitter. Three relievers kept Southern New Hampshire off the board over the final innings. Marissa Fiorentino got credit for the win. Alyssa Boris, who closed out game one, threw a complete game four hitter in the nightcap. She retired the last 14 batters in a row. She simply put, was on, but preferred to deflect the credit. The team's there to make the plays, so throw the strikes and they'll make the plays. She shut the door in the first game and uh, we kind of do things a little differently. Uh, she's our, our number one pitcher right now. We start her in the second game so she can come in and close the first game if needed. Be, and then we certainly have her fresh um, for the second game. The softball River Hawks are now 12 and 14, 5 and 3 in the Northeast 10. They visit New Haven Saturday for a doubleheader, and they've got two more games Sunday at Southern Connecticut. UMass Lowell Baseball was a winner Wednesday on the road at St. Anselm. 3-2 was the final. Sean Burns got the big hit. A seventh inning double. It broke a 2-2 tie. Taylor Von Kriegenberg and Mark Sanborn had driven runs in earlier with a single and an infield out. Matt Monaco picked up the win with five and a third innings of shutout relief. He allowed four hits. He walked no one. The Riverhawks are now 17-12, 6-6 in the conference. They play St. A's again today at LaLasher Park. And that's the Riverhawk report for Thursday, April 8th, 2010.